Hey gang, AV here and welcome to my Amazing Spider-Man Collection Part 1. Um, on uh, one of my videos, I, I believe it was the Storytime Part 1 video, I had uh, someone chime in and say that they loved it and they subscribed to me just for that. So I replied to them and I said uh, something along the lines of, I'm glad you appreciated it. Uh, there'll be more coming, and I do take requests on this particular series. And then I started thinking about that, and I realized that you guys really don't know what I have. I mean, I haven't had a chance to actually film anything. My life has kind of been uh, very hectic lately, and uh, I just haven't had a chance to uh, sit down and show off my collection at all. So I figured maybe I should just bite the bullet and start. Um, so we're going to start with The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, first up, what you're looking at right here is just ba is uh, just basically a comic bag. Um, down in the copyright, I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, copyright 19, 1990. So I've had this bag for all that time and I just stuck it in a bag and board and I used it as a placeholder for my Amazing Spider-Man collection back before I had enough to fill a long box excuse me um, long time ago uh, <laughs> uh, now I have uh, two long boxes with just Amazing Spider-Man books and uh, another three more with all of his other series as well so um, yeah, I've come a long way. Um, but yeah, I just thought that bag was cool and worth showing off. Next up we've got, I believe, the Marvel Legends repaint, uh, reprint of Amazing Fantasy 15. Or maybe that's the Marvel Legends reprint. I can't remember which is which. One came with a Marvel Legends, and the other one came with a, a two-pack, I believe. And this is Amazing Fantasy 15 from the uh, newspaper run. I forget what newspaper they came from, but at the time, um, if you bought the Sunday paper, you got a 12-page uh, Spider-Man reprint um, from one of his classic issues. And um, there was also an offer so that you could order the entire series, which I did. So you've got that. And I'm going to show them off just because there are some unique covers, like that one. Because a few of the issues were reprinted over two volumes. Oh, flip it over. It's a reprint of number one. Both parts. Reprint of number two. I apologize for the glare. I hope I'm not screwing it up too much by holding the books up. Reprint of number three. Both parts. Number four. Both parts. Number five. Both parts. Number six, both parts. Number seven, both parts. Number eight, both parts. Number nine, both parts. Number ten, both parts. And number 11, both parts. I'm going to pause it right here, hang on for a second. And we're back. Uh, here is the A Wizard Ace edition of, uh, Avenger of Avengers. Amazing Spider-Man number one. It was signed by the cover artist who I still can't remember his name. Uh, I think it uh, begins with a G. Uh, <laughs> I am completely blanking on it. I know I blanked on it the first time I showed you this book. I'm still doing it. And I really apologize to the guy. But that's a reprint of number one. Uh, 
And that's a reprint of number 14 with a movie-inspired cover. Obviously, 14 was the first appearance of the Green Goblin. Wizard Ace Edition again. And here's the real deal. Amazing Spider-Man number 25. First Spider Slayer. Very beat up book, but hey, I got it. Amazing Spider-Man number 33. You guys have seen this in the previous video as well. Um, just look up for my tag video. Uh, it's in that. And there's an ad page removed, as that says. And uh, that sucks. I've already gone into it. I'm not doing it again. Amazing Spider-Man number 36, which is actually not too bad. Uh, it's, the cover is still attached, but there are some tears around the staple up there. Corners are rounded, but it's still a solid book. Number 42, which is in pretty beat up shape, but you know what? I don't care because A, it's the first appearance of Mary Jane. And B, I got it for five bucks. Can't lose, right? A uh, little ash can of issue number 50, which I believe came with uh, the Spider Man 2 DVD. Number 55. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit. There we go. I, I don't like that glare. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, number 66. Number 67. I love that cover. And that was a great story, too. Love that cover. This was actually one of my dad's. And even though he didn't know how to take care of his comics, he actually did a pretty good job just by accident because it's not a bad book. So this is one of his as well. Number 68. My dad's still around, but uh, <laughs> he just doesn't care about this stuff anymore. Which is a shame. I keep trying to get him back into it, but he... he just doesn't want anything to do with it. 68. Uh, this was uh, part one of the uh, classic uh, um, oh, what the hell, uh, Sandstone uh, trilogy. Uh, 69. Very nice for me to cover. 70 71 73 77 78, first Prowler. Move that up a little bit. 79. 80. And I'm going to pause it right there. Add, add some more to the stack. And we're back with number 82. 83. I believe this was the uh, first appearance of the Schemer, and uh, the Schemer was actually uh, uh, the Kingpin's son, later to become the Rose. Richard Fisk, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. 85. It's a shame, but it's been a long time since I've read these. 86, Black Widow, 
90. Death of Captain Stacy. Oof, I need a new bag on that. A little beat up. 83. Or er, 93, I'm sorry. 94. With his origin retold. Those books are always nice. Ninety six, which was the first part of the infamous uh, drug trilogy, where they did not have the uh, Comic Code Authority stamp up the top. Ninety seven, again no stamp, drug related story. Ninety eight, no stamp. 99 and there's the stamp one hundred one hundred and one first Morbius 102 103, and I'll pause it. 113. This is the uh, book and record reprint of number 124. The Lion Gates Films uh, reprint of 129. First Punisher. 134. First Tarantula. Marvel Milestones edition of uh, 149, which was the first uh, Spider Man clone, Ben Riley. And the real deal, 149, 156, 159, 160, the Tinkerer and the, and the uh, Spider-Mobile, that's awesome. Uh, 167, 168, oof, I need to rebag these, I'm glad I'm doing this, I'm glad I'm doing this, because I didn't know they were getting that bad, like I said, I haven't been in this box for a while, uh, 171, 172, And 198. And I think we're going to call it quits on this video for that. Um, if you like this video, then check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.